Uh, okay. Let's see how many people we can get connected. Any more light? Let me see how many people we can get connected. But anyway, so we're going to start right away. Guys, uh, this is Taco Aval. And I have a turbo that um, that I have here. Um, I mean, this is one of the couple ones that I have here. I got a mess right here, but don't pay attention to this, guys. Just check those. Those are the two turbos. Um, oops, sorry. That is a VNT 15. That's a VNT 1749V. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to rebuild this one right here. Is the 17. VNT 17. Why we want to rebuild this? Last time, um, um, last time I posted a video in my car, this turbo was smoking pretty bad. So uh, what I'm trying to do is just uh, rebuild it because I need I need a spare turbo. So I bought this kit, this rebuilding kit, this company. I'm not a sponsor from them, but this is the one I bought from from them. Gy Turbo. I don't know how good it is. It's my very first time using this kit, but guys, uh, I thought it was cool. You know, bring bring you guys. Uh, right here in live action see how long it takes me to take a part of this uh turbo and i see if we can even like put it back together in real time so i thought about bringing you guys something i know i haven't posted anything in a long time so um, i do speak spanish i mean if you guys wants to post a spanish comment i can answer you know some whatever you guys want to uh, ask ask me or whatever so i'm cool with it so we just removed the actuator this was a new one because I, I purchased a new actuator for my car and and this turbo we did an ax um we did an accident we, we didn't know my son don't know so uh we left the um the uh, uh, a rack and there a piece of rack inside that hole and we uh plug it and then uh, we we put the oh it was the other side, so we feed the oil through here, and then nothing was coming out, so the oil was coming through the uh, shaft, so it was sm smoking pretty bad. So that's I mean I have to remove it because I, when I remove that rack, you know it it never never um, came back like good anymore. So I'm just gonna see if I can just rebuild this and. Bring it back to life. Uh, I do like this turbo because it's the only one I have that is. Uh, let me see if I, you guys can see the VNT. I mean the GT seventeen. Oh, it's like this. I don't know if you can see right there. GT seventeen. That's the part number. So uh, I don't know if I can see any comments or anything, but guys, I uh, will have my my hands dirty some message okay so okay I, I got you so we're gonna take uh the cold side out first i like these turbos because these are easy to take apart and uh very easy and you know the other problem i have on this turbo right now is that I might gonna have to cut this because I don't like this uh, design. It leaks a lot, so I like the other one. Just plug in the hose and good to go. So I might gonna end it up like cutting it right here and weld the the other um, the other type of um, uh, end or whatever. So this was clean before, so. So it's not hard. I don't know if we got enough light, but if no, I can put some. So how are you guys? How are you? I mean, where are you guys uh, watching me from? Say something. Comment. Where, where are you guys uh, watching me from? 
Mexico, Europe, United States. Say something. I might be able to answer, you know. So for those that just came in, uh, what I'm trying to do is, is um, in my last video, this turbo, we did, hey, Ever, hey, Ever, como estas, Ever? I, I saw you. I know who is EG. That's Ever, Ever Volvo. I call him Ever Volvo <laughs> because he has a Volvo. He wants me to fix his Volvo, but uh, I told him that I'm scared of his Volvo. <laughs> Volvo. <laughs> I told him buy a buy a Volkswagen all the time. I tell him just buy a Volkswagen and I I hook you up. You know I, I put um you know make it make you run fast and whatever. <laughs> but yeah, so I just removed those. Let me see. I still got more. Yeah, I know it will take longer for me to talk instead of taking it apart. But I need a turbo, like I was saying. This turbo in my uh, previous video, I poured the, the the exhaust size. So you guys can see it's bigger now. I poured this uh, hose, but look how oily it is. So it was leaking, you know, pretty bad because uh, we did a mistake on this. Look, by accident, we did an, uh, a mistake anyway. So I bought this kit to rebuild it, this kit. So I don't know if it's even if, I mean, I don't know if it's gonna fit. Um, it's my first time using this. I don't know, we will see. But yeah, guys, uh, let me see if I can take it apart real quick. It's been a long time now. I don't wanna make a long video e either. So guys, where, where are you? Where are you um, watching me from? Say something. Don't be shy. So we're going to take a part of this side, this cold side. So here it is. It looks, it looks good. It, it doesn't look like the turbo blades or the cold side blades were touching the the housing at all it's just this is just like dirt it looks like it hasn't it hasn't touched anything so i'm good on this so when when the turbo touch the inside of the housing that means the uh shaft is like pretty loose and this um this right here, guys, right, this blades or the leaps right here, tear up, you know, like, it gets, like, tear up because it grinds against the uh, turbo housing uh, walls. And then this blade will be no good. And this is the the one we need for a, um, for make boost, you know. <laughs> but look, there's oil right here. This. A lot of oil in here so man this turbo it was nothing wrong with this turbo we just forgot a plug a rack like this inside the hole the return line put the um gasket and put the uh, re the hole the the tube put them in the car and all the pressure was sending inside the turbo and then it was coming out the i guess from the exhaust side or whatever but we're good in here so let me remove this 10 millimeter off. Hopefully this come loose pretty good because I know all the turbos are hard to remove right here. But this, like I said, it was, uh, it was taken apart before a little bit, not too long ago. Make sure you got them up like this so you don't lose all the VNT. Oh, look at that. So I'm not gonna touch, oh man, one, one of this one, it moved, it moved, so, man, okay, let me see if I can put them right here, it's a little bit kind of hard, 
Oopsie. This has got to be down. I don't want to take it apart this side because this is good. Ah, there you go. So this, what it does is just open and close like this. Oh, man. But this is pretty cool. Um, it's how you... Uh, it's how you turbo makes it, it has the ability to the ability to make the small and bigger um veins inside here are the veins right there so those are the ones that moves uh see you guys saw it right here there is and there you can see it reappearing every time i move the the rot see that's pretty cool so I'm just gonna put them there because there's a mark right here. There's a hole right here. There's another mark right here and another one right here. So there's no way to lose the position in here. Well, this, I'm not gonna do anything with this one. So I'm just gonna put them over here. Hopefully it doesn't move too much. Hopefully. And um, I'm gonna be concentrating in the cartridges. And this cartridge. Woohoo. So this is the thing. Oh man, we got a big problem right now because there's not there's not a knot in here. It's like a triangle, like a rotary triangle. So am I gonna have to grab it with the pliers? Man. Guys, if I'm not finished with the video. I mean, finish rebuilding this. Um, I might cut the video soon. I don't know, man. So I just want to bring you guys something. Uh, I've been working. Um, hold on. Let me show you what I'm working right now. Um, I'm going to cover my mess. I don't want you guys to see my mess. <laughs> um, there's the two turbos, 15 and 17. Oh, and there's my baby. There you go, guys. <laughs> so let me show you guys. I'm working in this this wagon. There's um I haven't posted a video from this uh but I'm working on this this wagon right here came with the uh clutch. It was gone. This clutch, I don't know if you guys see anything wrong with it, but I can see it like it looked like somebody grind this holes to make it fit because they thought they thought that this holes it has to make it you know they made it fit <laughs> you see they grind this and this thing was wobbling man like crazy look i don't know if you can see there but it's broken vibration like crazy there's a clutch So what I'm doing is um, I'm just going to do the the rotors. Rotors because it's been sitting for a long time. You guys can see it needs rotors and pads. And there's the, the motor. This is a TDI. TDI. So I'm showing you guys uh, working on that one. I don't know if I'll be able to pull this up. but Oh, yeah, there you go. So you guys can see it's an A-Ledge. You know, we love ALH. So there you go. Let's go back to, to business. If any, if anyone need a, a jet ski, let me know. That jet ski is hooked up. Oh, well, here we go. Covering my mess. Covering my mess. So we're back to here. Now, I don't know if I will be able to take this apart because... Unless I could, I put them on the vice. I don't know. Might be able to put them on the vice, cause this um, this is the right wrench for this, and we have to count. We have to count the the threads, and we have to mark. 
we have to mark this where um, it needs to be. So I'm marking right now that little notch or the weight that they grind it right here and mark it with a blade. So this knot has to end it up same how it was before. You see the company uh, grind there a little bit. It grind it down here too on the on the um, blade. So now we know. If not, I just go back to the video. I can see the internals there. So I'm gonna try to grab it with the pliers. If if it's good, I mean, if I'm good, and it doesn't require more power, <laughs> more power, I uh, this is um how do you call this? This is uh, clockwise or kind of clockwise, whatever. This it will get loose that way. Not this way, like normally, it will go that way. So, let's see how tight. Oh, wow, that was pretty loose. So, there you go. We already marked it. Now, let's pull the, the blade out. It shouldn't be hard. Should be right here. It's got like a part number. I don't know if you can see, but there is the 17 GT17. So we got that one out. There is a seal around around here too. So I'm going to have to grab my drill. And let's see. Let's see, let me see, it looks like uh, 25, nope, what was that, 20, 20, oh yeah, 20, so T20, Torx bit, T20, I can already see damage right here. I don't know if you guys be able to see that, but uh, it looks like a piece of metal in there. So let's see how we can open this. I don't know if we got new uh, bolts like that. Oh yeah, but they are kind of different, but but we'll see what's going on there. So we pull this one out. That little piece will come attach it to the. It will come out, attach it to the um, plate. Let's clean this real good. So far, I don't see nothing measure. This right here has a like a lock C clamp or C whatever. This one it was the one I saw like it's grind right here on the on the front. So we have that one. First of all, let's check if we got the correct size. Like uh, something is missing here. Hopefully not. But uh, we can put like a little grease in there or something. I don't know if it's this one. I don't know. It looks the same. So, como están? Saludos, Ever. <laughs> No muchos, no muchos van a ver mis videos, pero tal vez luego lo ven ahí por ahí. Esto nomás se pone así. 
este lo, lo, lo metes por el lado de atrás y, y entra. You just put it from the back side and it goes in. Supposed to go in pretty easy. So there it is. It's in. So we're going to grab a little bit of um, high-tech um, grease. I'm happy because I finally got microphone. <laughs> microphone, so the 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 noise is not hard. So I put grease in there. And let's try to see if we can get him in without damaging the without damaging the um the clip. Let me see if I can push it in. There you go. So it's in. We put grease in there. This thing's supposed to be able to spin. Pretty good. So we got one down. I don't know about the screws. Are they the same size? Looks like a little bit shorter. I like the stack one better. But we'll see. So far, one piece is the correct one. So now let's focus on this. Let me see if I can get him out. This piece. Let me see. It looks the same. So we got him out this way. So let's flip it. Okay, so it's got the notch on the bottom. That's the oil thing, so. Okay, so we good on that part. It matches. So, got this one right here. This one right here goes on the bottom. Let me see. Yep, we got them on the kit. So, let's let's go ahead and put them right here. So, we're going to soak this with oil once we put it back together before putting it to spin, you know. So there's a little piece right here that is holding this together. It might give me a little trouble. That's like the, that's like a stopper or something. Oh, there you go. Little tiny. I don't think I got that. Nope. So now I should be able to pull this out. Or maybe let him slide out. Yeah. Okay, so let's look for a um, potential um, grinds or whatever. Um, I don't know. I see, I see like a mark around here, all the way around here. Two marks. Here and here. Oil ports are not clogged. It, but I, oh, I, I see grind marks inside. Okay. I don't know if you guys are gonna see that, but. Okay, yep, same thing on this one too. Okay, so let's match it with the new one. Hopefully, it's the same. So, okay, that's that part is the same. Same, same hole, same. Okay, same, almost the same diameter or whatever. Same exact thing. So, let's put this one right here since it's the old one, old parts. The new one, I'm going to keep it here. So, there's a ring. There's a ring that we need to replace. Maybe that's a big problem right here because it might be cooked. And that's why it's also leaking oil. So let's remove it. Okay. That's the old part. Let's see if we can clean the 
best we can right here. This is just roughly, roughly trying to rebuild a, a turbo the wrong way. <laughs> Ever. Talk to me, son. Oh, man. Let's pull this out. This, it has another clip or clamp in there. So I'm going to head it with the rubber hammer. So this will push this shaft out. Because there's there's another um, uh, clamp in there. So let me see. Yep. There you go. That easy. It just popped the... Oh, wow. Maybe this was my problem. So this was like this. Okay, so it should go like that. So I can see the ring in here is full of carbon built. Maybe this was the problem. Anyway, we're going to rebuild it. You see this ring? It's completely full of uh, carbon built. Man, and there was nothing wrong with this turbo. It's just, I forgot to, man. Okay, so for this, if, if you have like a pliers, you know, like a, uh, a small, really tiny. I don't know if this will fit in between the gap. I don't think so. But if you got like a tiny, tiny uh, pliers that it can fit inside, might be able to pull them out. No. I don't know. This this might work for me. No, almost. I don't know. I need to take this one out. Might be able with it with a pick and pu just push it out slowly. Push it out. Wow, it's got a lot of carbon built. <sighs> wow, look at that nasty. Almost, almost out. There you go. So remember, the other one's got to, <coughs> it's got to get in the same way. So what I'm going to do, since this is out, I'm going to grind it um, or wire, um, what's it called, like wire, um, Grind it with wire, whatever, with this, uh, clean them up the best we can. Here, it's not that bad, so let's go back. Sorry for moving guys, moving you guys back and forth. Let me see if I can finish to clean the rest of this oil. <coughs> not too bad, not too bad. So this is what we're doing today, real quick after the el meeting. The meeting, we went to the um, park and we uh, play some bicycle with with the brothers. So yeah. So I'm trying to rebuild this turbo today. Hopefully this. This ring, it's not bad. 
It's not bad to like, you know, put it back together. <sighs> okay, so this was the old ring. You can see some signs of uh, age, old. I can see right here. Okay, so we got the new gasket right here. And here's the new ring. <coughs> so let's see if we can, uh, well, let's put some grease first. Put grease in there so it kind of slides easier. Now let's put the ring in there. It might go in easier than, than coming out. So there is, it's in. Now, how this one was, was it like this? Or like this? <laughs> so let's see if it fits there. We no problem. Hopefully we don't snap the, snap the, um, let's put some grease in there too, here. Maybe pass the rack in here too. There you go. Now we sh uh, let's see if we can just put grease in there. So it kind of slides in there better. So hopefully it clicks in without a problem. Oh, wow. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. You know what? I don't know if, okay. Gonna have to um, clean my hands a little bit. Let's see if we can find, um, I mean, I guess I can just put grease in there a little bit. Should put oil in here, not grease. So that the notch is go, it goes up. Wow, like a glop, like a glop guys. Now remember the little tiny piece that it locks that in place goes right here. There you go. Now let's put this one right here. We're gonna soak it in oil because uh, I like oil better than in grease. That piece goes in there. The seal goes in here. This piece, I'm not missing, not missing anyone, right? One is here, one is there, so this is here. So it does have like a way to go. So the two screw for the bottom and the other two for the top. If no, it won't, it won't match. So, um. I don't know. I don't trust this new screws. We can try them. We can try to see if they fit perfect. If they do, we're good to go then. I'm going to have to grab a uh, different uh, Torx bit. Because, uh, wow, almost. Almost. Oh, man, I'm not. Might not be able to find the correct correct one. Because they are not all right here. Oh man. You gotta be kidding. Nope. But hold on. I don't I don't think the head fits in there. Oh no, they do. We're gonna try to use it then. I'm gonna try to use this. Let's 
So far, the turbo spin spins good. No stopping or anything. Now, let me grab um, a Torx bit. It looks like it's, um, I don't have it right here. I don't think it's this one, isn't it? No, almost. That one fits. Hold on, it looks like uh, that piece is missing somewhere. So this is uh, goes back here. We got a uh, new knot and a lock for the for the um, the actuator. Okay, there is everything out. So yeah, I was telling my son that I need this uh, this Torx bit because it's not on my toolbox. So it should be there, right? So we're almost finished. We're almost finished. Since this was not too tight. So I'm not gonna go crazy. There you go. I'm not gonna go crazy in here. So here's the, the turbo blade or the cold side. S still spinning free, freely. Let me see. I still don't like how the. Okay, I found the torch bit. So we're gonna give it a little ooga dooga right here. Yeah, it looks like it got tight really good, anyways. So I don't have to worry about that. So we're good on that. So now we can put the blade in here. And let's use the new nut for this. Remember, it's backwards. And now, remember, we have to match. Oh, no, no, we can't use this because we have to match the. We got a mark in the old one. And the old one has balance too. So we got to match the small notch with the new one. And we got to got to put them maybe around there. Going to hold this and we're going to try to match you know like hold. You see the mark in there? So it's coming, it's coming. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Wow. This is gonna be hard because she got stuck in there. Okay, there. So it's tight. Turbo is tight as well. I can see the grease in there too. So since that's done, you know, I'm not an expert rebuilding turbos. So <laughs> don't take my advice. I'm probably making it wrong, you know. And you are better than me. So here it is. This has a rod right here that it moves back and forth to activate. Oh, no. I can't see. Okay, there you go. 
this rod right here activates the veins on the housing. This housing that I was showing you guys before, the move back and forth, it gets activated, you know, by the by that rod that I just showed you. So we gotta make sure that rod aligns, you know, with the veins. Uh, so I might not be able to show you guys all this. But it looks like we, oops, 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 oops. It moves, it moves. It looks like we just nail it. Yeah. If you feel like a free movement in there, I can see the blades inside. That it goes there. That means it's, it's good. It's how it's supposed to go. So let's go ahead and put the at least one to tag it. One to tag it and remember uh, where this one was positioning for the um, actuator. So it looks like this one it was it was going right here. Yep, correct. So this one doesn't have washers. Just straight um, bolts because the bracket is working as a um, washer. So there's that one. Let's flip it. Let's put the other one. That's one right here. I don't know if you guys can see me or not. So. Okay. Let's tighten this. And this is how you guys put, um, rebuild a uh, Volkswagen Turbo. Volkswagen Diesel Turbo. So that was it. I like, that's why I like Volkswagen. So they are not really complicated. People think there's, they are complicated, but they are really not. This spinning free. No, it doesn't get stuck or anything. So we good on that part. So now the only thing we got left to do, I mean, we can put the, the rot in here. This is the cover for the, for the heat, this is the heat shield. We can put them right here, like that. And we can grab the two 10 millimeter knots. It's really not that hard. We probably gonna finish in a little bit. I don't know, I saw the the lock. Oh, never mind, that doesn't even work in there. Anyways, so let's type this. There's that one. Now let's just put, I'm just gonna put this for now, but I'm gonna take it off because I, I need to weld the end in here, cut it. Cause I don't like this. Uh, see, I put silicone in there so it seals, but this thing leaks. So let's just uh, let's just put them like like that for now, and to test the turbo if it, if it doesn't you know like grind or anything. But it's like wow, it's pretty solid. So I'm just, right now I'm just putting the eight millimeter bolts, the hole to hold the, uh, the coal side or the casing, the coal side. There you go. And that looks like a turbo now, a miniature turbo. Unbelievable, but the diesels, this turbo is big for a diesel. 
for uh, Volkswagen 1.9 is big for ALH. I'm not trying to go, you know, like too much power, but but it's uh, better than than the VN215. So that's one. I'm not, you know, like not doing. Remember, I'm gonna remove this, so I'm just doing this for for the video. I do appreciate everyone that clicks on the video and probably look at it for like three tech three seconds. I really appreciate it. It's all right. I know you guys have another stuff to do better than watching me. So anyway, I still appreciate it. So that's it. That's how um how rebuilt a turbo. Wow, it doesn't touch anywhere feels pretty good ever que estás tomando un vaso de leche but you are nice so hopefully this one doesn't uh, smokes so that's it guys that's it for tonight i'm gonna go to the bed and um i got turbo now so i'm gonna cut this like i say Cut it, take it to Mumford Sheet Metal, weld this thing. Oh, limonada, está tomando limonada. Good, good. Man, se me antojó limonada now. So, yeah, because I don't want to use this type of uh, connection. My my uh, car has the old style, like, clamp in there, and that's it. So, I'm going to cut this right here, straight, boom. Am I going to, I'm going to weld the, the other end from, from, those tur one of those turbos will to be my Frankenstein. So wow, 47 minutes on this. It I mean, it took me longer because I have to explain and this and that, but this is like probably like half an hour or 25 minutes. But thank you guys for watching me and stay tuned for the next one. I really appreciate it. Th this turbo will go into my wagon. Will go into uh, my wagon so now there is rebuilt, um, so I don't have to worry about the the problem. I think that was my problem. I don't know if you guys can see because the camera, but I see that that ring was the problem. The other side has two two gaps in there, two like two steps, and uh, that's why I was leaking oil. Probably the pressure like force it and grind it, you know, and then or maybe these two. Who knows? That one over here was it was bad too. So now with everything in there, good and new, we're gonna we're gonna see if this one doesn't smokes anymore because I do like the this is the um oops it's like this oh never mind <laughs> the GT seventeen GT seventeen so this side is bigger and also the cold size uh also bigger too. I mean the cold side, the hot side, cold side. So that's it for tonight. And let me see if I can show you. I got the, the flashlight right here. So I was working uh, like this. But thank you for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Stay tuned for the next one. Uh, I haven't posted anything. Uh, like I said, I might, I might show you guys, you know, a little bit of the clutch work on the wagon I'm working on. You saw it, it, it's green. So it's... That car has been selling for uh, since 2011. So make you map 11, 12, 20, 40, 50, 60, 20, 22. So it's been there. No rotors are good. No pads. That it was locked. So we had to drag them out. Um, I might show you guys a picture later or in the next video. But stay tuned, guys. And I'm gonna cut the I cut the light video today. So, see y'all, see y'all on the next one. I don't see any comment or anything to respond, you know. Let me see. I'm going to see if I can go through the comments. No, no, I don't see. Okay, see you, Taco. Yeah, ever. Let me see. I don't 
chat viewing option live chat recuerda que te mencioné el ahora lo ven entre piensa pocos poco a poco oh, ok gracias ever gracias ever ok so thank you for watching guys and now i need to end this and i don't know where's the end button what i think it's my second live video that i do oh man i think it's here okay bye